Hello everybody and welcome to a ZBrush tutorial. Today I'm going to talk to you, I'm going to teach you about um, ZBrush, mainly about sculpting, how we can apply mesh and get started, right? <laughs> so basically the way we start off is we have this interface and we have our tool menu here. If we click on that, you can see we have a whole bunch of other stuff. Like we have this Sphere 3D. So if we go ahead and click on that tool, it will be loaded up as a current tool, which is that bigger square. And we can go ahead and drag onto our canvas. And our canvas is that gray radiant or um, the gradient area. So, how do we start sculpting on this? Because if I drag again, it's not going to work out. It's just going to apply another sphere. So we can press Control Z to get rid of that. We can press Control N to actually wipe the document clean. And under our current tool that we have, on our current tool, <laughs> we can go to this button up here that says Make Poly Mesh 3D. Now, make poly mesh 3D the option if we press control. Now control enables us, the control button uh, helps us understand things by putting up a little tip menu on any tool that we hover over or any button. So if we go over to the clone or sub tool and I press control, or let me just open up an option. Right? Sub tools are separate polygonal objects. It just it tells you right there, it has all the information. So let's go ahead and let's move on. That is the more advanced um, ZBrush techniques that we are not going to get into, but it's not hard. <laughs> so, how can we make our mesh sculptable? Let's get back into that. Basically, we click that Make Poly Mesh 3D button. And now we drag it onto our canvas. Boom. We now have a poly mesh. We now have a sculptable object. But in order to make it sculptable, to enable it, we press our T button or we enable the edit object button. And the hotkey is T. So I'm just going to press that. And we can now sculpt. If we click and drag on our mesh, we can get some pretty cool looking stuff, right? And that's how we base, that's step one. That's how we start off. How can we um, have different effects, right? Like let's say instead of carving outwards, which is what we are currently doing now, let's say we wanted to carve inwards. Well, what we do is we press Alt and we click and drag. So now we're getting a different result other than carving outwards. And our Shift key, if we hold down Shift, we can see that we have now have a blue um, radial uh, radius <laughs> we now have blue other than red right so if we hold shift this tells us that we are now in our smoothing option so it loads up a different tool or a different brush in this top left here and we have a smooth tool so if we go ahead and drag into our canvas or our mesh we can smooth out the mesh So, now, this up here, Z intensity, let's say we wanted to carve, um, 
right, get a more powerful effect. And all we do is do this. Increase our Z intensity or decrease. Um, draw size. These are all options and they should all be found in our kind of top area. And if you want to know what I'm doing now, how I'm zooming, how I'm rotating and moving, these are all options found in this palette here on the right side of our canvas. And rotate, all we simply do is we hold rotate down and we drag around. <laughs> and also while holding the rotate option, if we hold shift, we can snap to certain angles. So that's an angle, that's an angle, and that's another angle. And we can keep sculpting. So let's say we wanted to zoom in and out. While above rotate, we have our zoom tool. And if we want to move around above that, we have our move tool. So another way to rotate is if we are inside of our canvas area, but outside of our mesh and we click, we can rotate. It's really, um, it's more easy. So we don't have to go all the way back here to rotate. We simply just click in our canvas area and rotate around. And also if we press all and click at the same time, we can pan around. And if we let go of all, we can zoom. So if we go through this one more time, rotate is just clicking on the canvas area and dragging around. I'll click at the same time, it's panning, letting go of alt enables us to zoom in and out. So now let's just say you're sculpting, right? You're just doing whatever to your mesh. And out of nowhere, when you're moving around also, um, your mesh gets out of place. So what do we do? Well, we can simply press this frame button, which is above the move tool that we were on earlier. And this will bring the mesh back into our frame. So there's also a hotkey. So again, the mesh is out of place. If we press F, it'll bring it back to our frame. And we can continue, excuse me, going on. Okay, so. Um, now. I pretty much showed you everything you need to know to take off, but there's one thing we have to tackle, and that's the brushes. Now the brushes, are the most important tools in ZBrush because this is what's going to enable you to get quality results. Now let's say I wanted our move tool again because right now I'm on standard. Well how could we do this fast in a fast way without having to open the brush menu and looking through and memorizing where it is, right? And it's right here. <laughs> well, the brush menu, we can simply press B. Let's open it up. And the brush menu will open up wherever your mouse is. So if my mouse is right here, right, and I press B, it's going to open up in that area. Just thought you know. So we know move starts with M, and our brush menu is alphabetic. I'm going to press M. Now this will open all the options with M. So all the brushes that start with M is going to be in this menu. And we can see that our move tool is under the letter V. And if I press a V, it's going to load our brush, our move brush. And we can start sculpting with it. Now this makes 
everything easier because we can simply do let's say I want in my standard tool we can go B S and T we now have our standard tool loaded or our standard brush and we can start sculpting so I think I've tackled everything I want to get through today um, I just want to let you guys know I support you guys 100% and if you need any anything um, if you have any questions and you want to know more just anything in general um, whether it's ZBrush just go ahead and message me comment and I'll get back to you now um, go ahead and like, comment, rate, subscribe. I had a great time doing this tutorial. I really do. I feel like this is going to help out the community a lot. Because we have a bunch of people coming into ZBrush. I mean, I'm still new to ZBrush. I've been using this for about a year. And I enjoy it. And I enjoy making these videos. Even though this is my first. I mean, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. <laughs> so, that's it. Thank you for watching. Have a blessed day.